I'm Daniel Finley with the Institute for Transportation Research and Education at NC State University. I'm going to discuss the use of the quadratic formula to design a vertical curve. This example shows two perspectives, a street level view in the top portion of the screen and the vertical alignment on the bottom of the screen, which takes a profile perspective. This railroad bridge is level with the existing terrain in the area, and this road was designed and constructed to go under the railroad tracks without disturbing the grade of the railroad. However, a new manufacturing facility in the area requires the use of larger trucks, so this section needs to be lowered to allow the trucks a more direct route to the nearby interstate roadway. A grade of negative 3% leads into the curve, and a grade of 2% follows the curve. The point where the tangents meet, known as the point of vertical intersection, or PVI, has an elevation of 135 feet. A clearance of 12 feet exists between the bridge and the roadway, but a clearance of 14 feet is needed for the trucks. The bottom of the bridge has an elevation of 160 feet, so we'll need to design the roadway with a maximum elevation at that point of 146 feet. We know that the existing vertical curve doesn't provide the needed clearance for the larger trucks. A larger curve length would worsen the problem, but a shorter length of curve would provide the additional clearance needed. We'll work through the steps to determine what the new length of curve should be to provide the needed clearance. The solid black line represents the existing roadway, and the dashed red line represents a vertical curve that is shorter than the existing roadway, which will be needed to accommodate the required clearance underneath the bridge. The new roadway design will mean that a vehicle will travel further down the entering grade before encountering the shorter length curve, and then will reach the exiting grade sooner than the existing design. Vertical curves are used to provide a smooth transition from one grade to another. The typical vertical curve is a symmetric parabolic curve whose shape is defined by the parabolic equation. Please refer to some of my other videos for more details about vertical alignment and curve design. The PVI is the point of vertical intersection and is the point where the two tangents meet. The PVC is the point of vertical curvature and is the point where the, where the curve begins. And the PVT is the point of vertical tangency and is the point where the curve ends. The parabolic equation is used to define a curve, where y equals a times x squared plus b times x plus c. The term x is used to denote any horizontal distance along the curve. The letter y is used for the elevation of a point along the curve at the distance x. To customize the parabolic equation for finding the elevation of any point along a vertical curve, the a term is equal to g2 minus g1 divided by 2 times the length of the curve. The B term is equal to the grade of G1, and the C term is the elevation of the PVC. All distances must be input in stations, where one station equals 100 feet, and grades in percent. We will begin this process by identifying the X distance and the PVC elevation in terms of the length L. A clearance of 14 feet is needed between the bridge and the roadway beneath it. We have an entrance grade of negative 3% and an exit grade of 2%, as well as a PVI elevation of 135 feet. For a symmetric parabolic curve, the length of the curve is evenly divided on each side of the PVI. In other words, the distance from the PVC to the PVI is half of the length of the curve, and the distance from the PVI to the PVT is also half of the length of the curve. The term X is used to denote any horizontal distance along the curve from the PVC point or the point where the roadway begins to curve, shown in this image as point 2. Since we don't know the length of curve that will fit underneath the bridge, we need to specify the distance x and the PVC elevation in generic terms using the length. The bridge is 150 feet, or 1.5 stations beyond the PVI point. So in general terms, x equals L divided by 2 plus 1.5 stations. We know this because we're using a symmetric parabolic curve and half of the length of the curve is on each side of the PVI. Again, we don't know the precise location of the PVC yet, so we can't find the exact PVC elevation. We can specify it in terms of the length of the curve though. Based on the elevation of the PVI, which we know is 135 feet, to reach the PVC we need to travel up the 3% grade half of the length of the curve to reach the PVC. Our final equation is that the PVC elevation equals 135 plus 3 divided by 2 times L, where L is input in stations. Next, we need to specify the maximum road elevation beneath the bridge. 
We need to provide a 14 foot clearance underneath the 160 foot elevation bridge. Therefore, we have a maximum road elevation of 146 feet at the point underneath the bridge. Now we'll substitute information from the previous two steps into the parabolic equation, which describes the vertical curve. After carefully simplifying this equation, we can arrive at the information we need to utilize the quadratic formula. Our final relationship is 0 equals 0.25 times L squared minus 4.7 times L plus 2.25. For the quadratic formula, we will input 0.25 for A, negative 4.7 for B, and 2.25 for C, and find a solution of 0 0.49 and 18.31 stations, or 49 feet and 1,831 feet. The 49 foot length can be eliminated from consideration since it is too short for a safe vertical curve and is also shorter than the minimum length of curve based on the distance from the PVI to the bridge. Therefore, the new vertical curve will need to have a length of 1831 to satisfy the minimum clearance of 14 feet underneath the railroad bridge. As with all measurements in vertical alignment, this distance is measured only in the horizontal plane. Thank you for your interest in this topic and for exploring the use of the quadratic formula in vertical curve design with me. Please see my other videos for other math applications within highway design.